All right, guys, you asked for it. A showdown between the KitchenAid toaster oven air fryer versus the Philips air fryer. Let's see who wins. Hey everyone, I'm Flo. Dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. For our showdown, we are doing chicken wings because who doesn't love chicken wings, especially when they're deep fried, but using the air fryers will give you a very crispy wing, but we'll see how the KitchenAid toaster oven air fryer thing does. I have four pounds of wings here because this is how much I would normally cook using just the little air fryer, which takes me forever. My Misto Mister has completely died. And so I'm going to use, I'm, I'm gonna try this method and hopefully this will work. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil right onto the chicken wings. I know a whole bunch of you have recommended the Evo oil sprayer but right now I just cannot justify spending $40 on an on a oil sprayer. A couple of teaspoons of salt. And about half a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. Or until your hands get <laughs> or if you want, you can use cayenne pepper as well. We're making hot wings, so that would be more hot if you like it spicier. But I'm just using brown pepper, should be fine. I'm using potato starch to coat my wings because I really do feel that potato starch gives them a good crisp. I'm starting off with just half a cup of potato starch in here. You can always add more. I always hate when recipes call for a whole cup of starch, like flour, when it doesn't need the whole entire cup of flour. I'm just gonna lightly dredge them. And shake off any excess. I'm just gonna set them aside so I can get all the wings going at once. Because our toaster oven died, we recently picked up this KitchenAid toaster oven air fryer also because I wanted more capacity air frying. The Philips has been great, but I've been finding for our family that I have to do batches in the Philips and it just takes forever to air fry food when it comes to making dinner. So I'm really hoping that the KitchenAid will do just as good a job in one big batch instead of multiple little batches. If you wanna see more details of the KitchenAid toaster oven air fryer, we did do an unboxing video that you can check out. We also did a chicken wing showdown against the Tefal air fryer when we were testing the Philips against it. And you can check out that video up here as well. According to the manual for the KitchenAid, the, to air fry chicken wings, it's 425. So it's set up 425 now. And it also says to cook it for 18 to 20 minutes. We'll start at 18 and I'll see if I need to adjust it from there. And I'll just hit start. And it does preheat before I put the wings in. Also gonna preheat the Phillips. It only goes up to 400. So we will be cooking at 400 and just preheat this for a couple of minutes. So I'm able to fit 12 wings in here but I'm also cheating because I'm standing them up and not laying them flat. And this is how I would normally cook them. Cheater. <laughs> so I'm not cheating here, I'm laying them all flat and there are 20 wings here. So right now, almost double capacity. Watch that oven girl, it's hot. I know. Okay. I'm also going to put this tray underneath because I know that chicken wings, there's always dripping, so I don't wanna drip it down into the bottom of the oven. So I'm just gonna use the pan to catch any drippings, hopefully. And hopefully the convection won't be uh, thwarted or minimized by that pan being there. So we'll yep. see. Okay. Okay, it's still preheating, but it'll be fine because it's already preheated. We're gonna start the air fryer. You look at how, how quiet the KitchenAid is. The fan is really not very loud. Meanwhile, the Phillips, I'm gonna do 10 minutes at 
first and then I, I usually flip them around a little bit and then do another 10 minutes after. But listen to this. So much louder. Okay, this one is 10 minutes is done. I just want to turn it a little bit. Actually, they're pretty much, um, they're okay. They're not too bad. Just want to make sure that they're not touching. They're touching now. Okay, so we're going to put this in for another 10 minutes. All right, this has now been 20 minutes. I'm not sure what to do here. Should I leave it in for another minute or so? I'm going to put it in for another two minutes. I'll give you a total time after I'm completely done. All right, the air fryer one is done. A total 20 minutes. Oh, they're looking pretty good. I'll put these ones in the blue bowl. The Phillips does a really good job in crisping. Like I said, we've been really happy with it. I just don't like the capacity. I wish I had bought a bigger one. All right, good thing I had that tray in there. Look at this. Oh, it would have been pretty messy down the bottom of the oven. Yep. Chicken wings. They don't look as brown as the Phillips, but this was a total of 28 minutes in the KitchenAid. All right, I ended up, I had, I had some chicken wings left, so I had to finish cooking them. This was 15 minutes in the Phillips when it was like piping hot. So usually the second batch in the Phillips, it doesn't take as long. Here's what we ended up with. This is the Phillips. And this is the KitchenAid. In the Phillips, we cooked it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, two batches, 20 minutes for the first batch, 15 minutes for the second batch, and we ended up with 23 wings. It's always a little bit less time in the second batch because the air fryer is already super hot. So total 35 minutes. In the KitchenAid, we cooked it at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of 28 minutes. And there were 20 wings here. This is the Phillips. This is the KitchenAid. I tried to find the crispiest one for dude. And we'll see. I just made a simple hot sauce for the wings. I melted a quarter cup of butter and used about half a cup of Frank's hot sauce. And that's pretty much it. Just heated it all up on the stove. I'm gonna pour, uh, let's get the wings in there first. So I'm gonna get the KitchenAid wings in here first. I'll pour half the sauce in here. And just toss it. Well, the sauce coats really well on them. And the Phillips wings, rest of this hot sauce. And we'll toss that around as well. All right, so we have one unsauced and one sauced wing for the Phillips over here, and one unsauced and one sauced wing for the KitchenAid on the side. Because I know you all are ready for the taste. Again, I am so hungry. Oh man, I just need to get in there. Uh, so we wanted to do a test with the wings with sauce on and off and see whether that makes a difference because ultimately it's about reality 
can flow, get uh, food out of the toaster oven, out of the KitchenAid faster than the Philips and still have everyone happy and fed and not wait like multiple batches. So we're looking at the Philips here. It looks pretty good. You can see the brown patches and then you move over to the KitchenAid and yeah, there's, you know, there's, there's an overall bit of browning, but visually I have to give it to the Philips. And I'm just gonna do a little tap test here. The microphone picks it up. Okay, and moving over to the KitchenAid. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Here is the taste. Well, which one should I try first? Oh, let's go with the Philips because we've been used to that. Mm. I've been really impressed with what the air fryers can can uh, produce with the wings. Lots of flavor. Okay, here it goes. Here's the uh, KitchenAid. It's good. The uh, KitchenAid has the crispiness of it in the ultimate like little crunchiness, but it doesn't have the bolder crunchiness, the crispiness that the Philips does. On the crisp part of the showdown, I have to give it to the Philips. And that may be because the Philips, the element and the fat is really close and it's blowing over all the wings uniformly. And then with the KitchenAid, the, the convection fan is coming in from behind and I don't know if it's circulating well and I don't, we don't know if that pan that was catching all the drippings was somehow affecting the flow of the convected air going through the oven. Convected, is that a word? Let's move on to the uh, coated wings with the hot sauce. Mm, yeah, mm. love that sauce. Not too spicy, just enough heat. And the wings are maintaining the crispiness, even being covered by the sauce. Mm, good. All right, moving on to the KitchenAid. Mm, also very good. Still maintaining uh, whatever crispiness was on the base wing, even after saucing it up. Oh yeah, dude, good. Ultimately, both wings were, were good, but I can still tell that the Philips wings, even with the sauce on, was crispier, hands down. The question is, does the KitchenAid wings, does it suffice? Does it like still produce a good enough wing for dinner? Can people tell? Like I'm, if I'm picky and I'm looking out for the differences, yeah, the Philips wing is better. But I guess the question is, is it good enough given that it cooks a larger amount of food faster? faster? I don't know. And also does it mean that, do we look at a larger capacity Philips air fryer because it produces ultimately a crispier product? Yeah. This was our first pass at chicken wings and using the air fryer function in the toaster oven. So my goal is always to be most efficient in the kitchen while providing a good tasting meal. And if it doesn't make that huge of a difference, maybe I will start using the KitchenAid. But I think we just need to do a little bit more testing, but ultimately the air fryer as an air fryer is the best tool for that job and one with lots of different functions may not be the best, but maybe it's still quite good. For more air fry recipes, check them out and I will see you over there.